Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Center. You know, you're an experienced and certified detective. It's about to educate you with facts and not hyperbole for the government or its minions. As you know that um, currently, the House of Representatives um, last Tuesday approved the report and recommendation of the Joint Select Committee on Firearm Prohibition Restriction and Regulation Act 2022, which has now been withdrawn for retabling. Uh, you know, in a layman's term, you know, that they're, they're going for it now um, to make this act, you know, become law. You understand, the com you know, the community has completed its, de its deliberation on the bill on July 2022 after receiving comments from stakeholders, including the Firearm Licensing Authority, Jamaica Defense Force, the Jamaica Rifle Association, Licensed Firearm Holders, the Jamaica Bar Association and the Carnival Bar Association. As you, if you have read the article in the Jamaica Observer, you notice is one stakeholder is not involved in this um, deliberation, which you know the most hated organization in Jamaica, the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Um, as you have seen, the lady that you're looking at right there and her husband. They have been they have, they have gotten filthy rich from the blood that in you know the Jamaican parasites. And here's one of them who's telling you how you know they treat Jamaicans. Remember, Jamaicans, you know, everyone that live on the island, you know, are you know, Jamaicans are you know the, that's their birthplace. And this is one of the chosen terrorists that's living in Jamaica and this is what he's, he's telling an international audience and you think that he's a movie star and he's saying something which I want to listen but his biggest promoter is that woman that you're looking at Dr. Carolyn Wombs and she lives uptown but she has armed security you know, but she and her benefit, benefactors beneficiaries including the most um, evil um, man she and Daniel who is aligned to the Prime Minister of Jamaica St. Andrew Wilderness they're doing everything to make sure that the criminals are harmed to the teeth and the law abiding citizens do not have anything to protect themselves or to live in prisons with their house, burglar bar. I want you to listen to what this um, terrorist is saying. Yes, my viewers and my subscribers. Um, the reason why you're not going to hear the video of this parasite, this terrorist from East Kingston, the chosen one. You know, the one that the government makes sure that um, whenever they commit crimes, um, the taxpayers pay for his legal fee. Is that um, the international media media um, group that um, came to that, you know, went to Jamaica, did this um, expose with these criminals. They have copyrighted the materials so that um, they are the only one who can exclusively um, pay it. So you cannot play any snips of it anywhere. You understand? So they are profiteering from the black people suffering so when i tell you that european people do not care about black people now that you're seeing it do you think that they care about them look what's happened in england when the jamaicans who commit crimes there do you think that they keep them there they deport them but yet still these are people who are telling you about human rights yet these people are not friends of black people you understand so you know that's the reason why i support preemptive strike because there have to be some deterrence to these terrorists you understand so you know as we continue the journey uh, you know as i've stated and i and i will continue to support preemptive strike against criminals criminals cannot be treated as as law-abiding citizens criminals are criminals we know that the jamaican government has propelled them into this being as superior their victims and the victims who are victims of their crimes are nothing to the Jamaican government and it is just sad but continue we continue the journey and continue to expose you know the actors who are benefiting from crimes in Jamaica now I hope you understand why I support preemptive strike because listening to this guy uh, you know um just not you know I'm not even talk, describing him his physical appearance but listen to what he's saying because he know that he's a chosen one you know that's why he's saying all those things so you know um so when it when he comes in you know, that's a socialist thinking you know 
So when he comes to you um, and he wants, and you, you, you know, you're putting up in a resistance, he just bursts your, um, your face in two with his gun, you know, but it's, he's going to box you. Uh, more or less, he's going to shoot you because to burst it into you, you know, thinking burst it, your face into is a bullet. But these are the people that Dr. Carolyn Gomes and the Jamaican for Justice have been promoting as victims of police brutality. You know, um, I don't know if you had you had seen or read, you know, that the the man who orchestrated 9/11 20 more than 21 years ago, going yes in the United States of America, he was killed. What they call preemptive strike in Afghanistan to the, um, over the weekend by the United States military, and those are the things that I like with the Americans. You know, you come, um, you don't get away with anything. They will hunt you down to the end of the road and the sport and get rid of you one way or the other. So like a man like even now, you know, when the police catch him or the security force caught a man like this uh, with a gun, what should you do? Take him in? Yeah, that's a waste of time, man. You use preemptive strike. He already put himself already in. Put himself already right in the crosshairs of the security force for him to be eliminated because he's not an asset to society is a liability, you understand? But the good, th um, the bad thing is that men like him would like to, you know, supply him with the address of Dr. Carolyn Gomes, you know, because you know that um, she, she and her acolytes, you know, that they have been campaigning for people like him and rapists. So you know, and you know these, you so um, evil is black, and you know that uh, you know women of her you. You know, even with the well with her, so you can you know just supply these criminals with their address because they're campaigning for them, you know. Because I can't just you know these um, black people, these terrorists who prey on the Jamaican pe um, society, they are victims of the system. You understand? But um, as you can see, these criminals in Jamaica, they are well armed, you know. So whether or not you want to believe it, you know they. Um, the biggest criminal organizations in the world are politicians, are political parties. And you have to understand that because they know a well thinking country that you'll have governments who will do everything to deny its people the right to protect themselves and leave them at the mercy of criminals and let the people them live in prisons. Burglar bars around their houses. You understand? Where I live, there's no burglar bar around my house. I, you know, the last time I lived in a house with burglar bar was back in Jamaica. You know, that's that feeling. You understand that? You know, you're looking out like you're in jail. You understand what I'm saying? But we know that um, what's going on in Jamaica, it is very gross and nasty. That the JCF was excluded from the decision making process. But I'll continue to say that the politicians, both PMP and GLP, they don't like the police, police force or its members. Yes, they're rather the criminals, you know. You understand? They have no respect for them. That's why I always keep telling young police officers to migrate from Jamaica to make yourself a better man or a better woman. You understand? Jamaica Constabulary Force of all the organization mentioned is the chief law enforcement agency in Jamaica. I have no issue with the others, but the JCF is the only organization that sees, arrests, and brings these criminals to court. Not even customs was mentioned. So that goes to show you that you know that's how the, this government, how they operate, they are not looking out for the law abiding citizens. You understand? Because the police the police are the ones that enforce the laws, you know. Not the soldiers and not, not the soldiers, the Jamaica Rifle Association and you know, the jump down the FLA. So, from I've been, um, from I was a child growing up in Jamaica, they never used to say that the police force was corrupt. But they, they, um, they, they the talking points of J, JBC, you know, you have JBC and RGR back then, and the talking points of JBC was that, um, they, they don't tell you, um, Explicitly, but they, they imply, they use implicit bias narratives 
against the police that the police are the enemies of the poor people. That's what they keep driving every day. But look, you know, the FLA that's issue firearms, you know, and you got to see the real criminals in Jamaica, you know, are the politicians, you know. You understand? They are the real corruptors. Jamaican people have short memory, just like goldfishes. Short memory and short attention span. Remember, you know, the FLA has issued over 2,000 firearm licenses to convicted criminals. Over 2,000 to convicted criminals. And the police force is zero. And they say that the police force is corrupted. And you people just buying it because they know that you people are idle lags and all of you are low IQ people, short attention span, and just want to go about the thing that tickle your fancy and make you feel good. Nothing of substance. Don't you see that these people are your enemy? The current government and the pre both political parties are your enemies. But the only help that can really help what's going on in Jamaica is international intervention. No divine intervention can help the corruption that is going on there. You understand? Because in, there's, in no civilized country in 2022 that any human being supposed to be living and not have any form of weapon to protect themselves from these marauding gunmen. And you can see that this man is boasting um, evil from East Kingston boasting um, what he will do when somebody when he comes to do his thing and um, his friends they have no problem killing people to get what they want you understand you know but I am not surprised that the police are not a part of the new legislation remember that the, rem I, I not only that I remember I know that the commissioner of police is a soldier and not a police officer um, Anthony Anderson is not a police officer. He's not a certified, certified and experienced police officer. He's an appointed police officer. Jamaica is a place in a way they can, once you're connected politically, that's why, you know, um, that's why you have, you have carpenters doing surgery on people in the hospital because you're not, that doctors, you know, are trained um, to do surgery. They're not trained medical doctors. But, you know, in Jamaica, um, once you're connected, they can just appoint you anything. You understand? That's how it is. So that's how he's been appointed to the commissioner of police. And then he pretends as if he's a police officer when he knows nothing about policing. Have no experience. Don't even know to write a statement. I've never been to court. Don't you understand what I'm saying? But you cannot tell some people anything about him you know, because they are ideologue. And we know that the police force used to be when it, the PMP, um, just like even CIB headquarters, they used to call it PMP headquarters. And it's the police allow themselves to be corrupted by um, the PMP LGBTQ plus party. So now this is where we are now. The JLP, they hate the police more than the PMP hate the police. You know? But the JLP, this current JMP um, party and government, they hate the police more than ever. And you can see it in their policies and whatever they are doing. You understand? You know? The, the, the Commissioner of Police is a JLP LGBTQ plus activist sitting in the chair of the Commissioner of Police with zero law enforcement certification and experience. The appointment was a signal to the young police and people in the police force that, that you, for you to get to the street, you have to have some political connection. Yeah, and that's how it always been, you know. Any Commissioner of Police, whatever party is in power, Maybe I think of the, one of the smartest and most cunning was Owen Ellington, and I play both sides. But eventually, the PMP, they got rid of him, you know. They kicked him to the curve. But do you remember that the same Prime Minister, St. Andrew Wallenitz, tried to nominate and put someone else as the Chief Justice? The entire judicial system and the judges went on a strike for one day with one demand. No Brian Sykes, no court. Dr. Peter Phillips was instrumental in making it happen. The police force is the only organization that has never, never united as an entity. Its members are always ideological and political activists. And everybody is always all about what's in it for me. So don't be surprised, you know, that the politician and all of the stakeholders, the, the, the main 
law enforcement agency was excluded from this discussion discussion that goes to show you that the jlp lgbtq plus government have no respect for the police force so they have all the respect when it comes down to the criminals they socialize crime you know people commit crime against um, the um, the state and then the state provide you know defense and then pay for their defense I have never seen nothing like that socialist socialistic criminal policy. But what can we? What can what can what, what can the people do? Because both political parties and their leaders are corrupt. And the international help can help Jamaica to come back from the abyss to where we were at least in the 1980s. Without that, Jamaica is set to doom. It's an ecological course with corruption. Marital politics equal more corruption. Thanks for watching the Jamaica Young Police Channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet, remember, this is the time to subscribe. Like and share the video. Most of all, comment. One love. All the best to you and your family.